Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Morph Shredder from the Power Rangers Lightning Collection TMNT crossover line from Hasbro. So in the comics, the Power Rangers and the Ninja Turtles did team up, and during that storyline, Shredder was able to steal the powers of the Green Ranger, giving us this really awesome form we see here. Very excited to finally get this in physical action figure form. Uh, taking a look at the packaging here, of course, we have the really beautiful Tom Whalen artwork. We have an overall green motif because of the turtles. Uh, over on the back, we just kind of have a production uh, shot for the figure here. And then we have some more artwork here on the side. Not really too much going on on the top or the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead, get this guy out of the box, and we're going to take a closer look. So here is Shredder out of the packaging, and I have to say, he looks absolutely fantastic. I especially love the cape. It's got kind of the tattered look with the holes in it and everything. And it's just kind of a nice, you know, cloth. There's no wire or anything in it, but I think it totally works. And it looks really, really good. The helmet sculpt looks absolutely fantastic. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can see that. You can kind of see, like, the original shape of the Green Ranger helmet here. But then, of course, augmented by the crest and, of course, these pieces on the side. It's got kind of a scuffed up look here. The really red eyes just really look sharp. I really like the look of this helmet quite a bit. Uh, so that's on a ball joint with a hinge. So, of course, you can look side to side. You can look down a little bit, look up a little bit. And then there is a hinge in there you can see right in there. Uh, we have the shield, looking very sharp. I like that a lot. He's got these little shoulder pads, but the nice thing is they're connected to the torso, so they don't hinder his arm movement at all. So you can see we have a butterfly joint there. We have a hinge so that the arms can go out to the side. They can also rotate around. Mine's a little tight. Uh, not a big deal, but you can still move it around, but it is a little tight. Of course, he has the bicep swivel. He's got the gold bands around the arm, just like the Green Ranger. He's got the double-jointed elbows there, as you can see. You can see he's got this detailing of kind of the bandage here, the wraps, but then he's got the really nice gold uh, gauntlets here, and he's still got his trademark uh, spikes here for his hands. I kind of wish this was painted on the inside of the hands. It's not a big deal, but I just, you know, that would not be flesh colored. It would be metal of some kind, even if it was just the same color, like the gray, something like that. But you have some nice uh, paint here. For the spikes. Now they're a little warped from being in the package, but not too bad. You do have a ball joint here in the torso. Mine's a little loose, honestly. It's not a major problem or anything, but it definitely feels pretty loose. Uh, you do have an ab crunch, which it's kind of hard to get a hold of because the torso is so loose and because of the way the cape is kind of connected. But you can make use of the ab crunch. It is still there. You have the sash here. You can see we have the uh, Dragon Zord Morpher there on the sash. I think that looks absolutely fantastic. Really nicely painted and detailed. Uh, I think, do you have a waist swivel as well? Might not, actually. I don't think we have a waist. No, I don't think we have a waist swivel. Uh, hips can kick this much forward. Kick out to the side. Can't really go back because he's got kind of a butt flap there. You have a swivel there at the thigh. Double jointed knees. And they're made out of kind of a yellowish plastic. I'm hoping that the gold... Plastic syndrome will not set in too much there. Uh, we have a boot swivel. Again, really nice gold gauntlets. And then for the ankles, of course, we have the hinge and the rocker. And you can see how he's got like the kind of toes uh, beveled out there, <laughs> kind of molded in because of the kind of uh, footwear that ninjas wear, which I'm sure has a proper name that I just don't know. Feel free to tell me in the comments. But yeah, he looks great. He really does look good. All the gold paint's really sharp. I think they did a really nice job with that. Like I said, I absolutely love the cape. And just all in all, really nice posability. Really great looking figure. And I loved this form when it was first revealed in the comics. So to now have a physical representation of it is just really, really, really cool. He doesn't come with a ton of accessories. I mean, he doesn't have any alternate heads or anything because it wouldn't really make sense. Uh, Shredder always just has his helmet on, so... I mean, you know, an Oroko Saki head might have been neat, but I don't even think that happens in the comics. I think he always has the helmet on, so it didn't really make sense to include that here. And now I'm having trouble. i got to click these back up so I can get them to stand here. There we go. No, too much? I'll figure it out. We'll get him to stand. He was doing it a minute ago. Uh, but what he does come with is... A extra set of fists, so he's got a closed uh, set of fists here with the spikes. So, of course, we got the open hands here. We got a closed set of fists. You do get 
you know, one of each hand, obviously. And then we have these effect pieces. Now, these are actually kind of cool. So you can see here that they have these little slits right there. You can kind of see my finger moving through. And what you're supposed to do is fit the spikes on his hands into these little spots, which can be a little difficult if they're warped. But if you kind of store it like this, or just display it like this, I should say, uh, it might be a nice way to kind of bend those back into the right position. So you can just kind of put those on and we'll get one for each hand. So we'll go ahead and pop this on. This one's a little bent on this side. Might have to do this one first. It's going to be difficult because I'm on camera. Come on now. There we go. But there you go with me. So it's, I guess it's just kind of meant to be like, you know, he's slashing through the air. I just think he looks kind of cool just kind of having them there on the arms. Just kind of like he's radiating energy. I just think that's kind of a cool look. I'm constant. I will say the one thing is it keeps kind of tucking itself back. And you can bring it in a little bit. There is enough room to kind of bring it. Or if you want to just kind of display him with the arms down and kind of have the cape a little bit over his arms, you kind of can do that. But you can also kind of flip it back so that if you want to expose those shoulder pads you can do that as well let me get this guy here so i think the effect pieces are actually pretty cool i like when they give unique like character specific effect pieces because there you've definitely seen there's a few that they just kind of reuse over and over again and those are a little lame but these are very specific you know they're meant specifically for his like hand blades i think they look really cool and i really like the effect they achieve with that so definitely love this guy i don't know why he there he goes we'll get him to stand there i was gonna say he was standing perfectly fine earlier and now he just doesn't want to but this is a really cool figure honestly like i said it's a really cool idea having the tmnt and the power rangers crossover and then they gave shredder the gold the green ranger powers and it just came out beautiful like he really looks fantastic they did a really cool job with this and hasbro kind of knocked it out of the park bringing this design uh into reality with a three-dimensional figure here really just great i definitely recommend checking this guy out like i said he's a little light on the accessories but i really don't know what else i would give him i'm trying to remember i don't think he uses a weapon at all i don't think there was any kind of like dragon dagger staff or anything like that you know what i mean there was no the other turtles have the power weapons kind of morphed into something that suits them but shredder didn't really have anything like that i feel like they could have they could have done something with the dragon dagger maybe make it into like a staff or um and I, for, I forgive me i don't know the exact name of the japanese weapons but maybe like the like dragon dagger on like a chain with a hammer at the end something like that could have been cool um but they didn't really do anything like that so you know it's a little bit of a bummer he doesn't have an accessory in that regard but again he looks great absolutely fantastic definitely recommend checking this guy out should still be available I think he was even part of the giant Hasbro sale that ends today. So, you know, maybe get over there and check it out if he's still available. Because that was a crazy good sale. It's like 40% off as long as you spend 75 or something like that. So, uh, but he's probably still kicking around, you know, Big Bad Toy Store, GameStop, uh, places like that. He was like an online exclusive. So you're not really going to find him in Walmarts or Targets or anything like that. But really great figure. Really looks fantastic. I really don't have anything to complain about him. Like I said, would have been neat to get an accessory, but I think it's because he didn't really have one in the comics, so it's just kind of being faithful to that. Uh, but yeah, he's great. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.